so down there we have organizational charts for 2023. Uh, any discussion about that? So moved. Second. Kristen? Yes. Karen? Yes. Josh? Yes. Paul? Yes. Kate? Yes. Uh, community appointments? Anybody have a problem with the community appointments? Also down there in the packet. So far, so good. Yep. I think we need a motion again. Got a roll call about that one too. I move that people do what they're told to do on the media side. I'll second. Kristen? Yes. Karen? Yes. Josh? Yes. Paul? Yes. Kate? Yes. Um, I need approval of the petty cash or the petty cash amounts. And the cash drawer amounts if we want to do them together. Petty cash is 300 and cash is 325. You moved? I'll second. Kristen? Yes. Karen? Yes. Josh? Yes. Paul? Yes. Kate? Yes. And I need approval to allow me to invest monies without prior board approval. It just means I can move it around in different investments that I decide. So moved. Second. Kristen? Yes. Karen? Yes. Josh? Yes. Paul? Yes. Kate? Yes. I've attached the value of the stock holdings as of the end of the year. Just information. That's just information. Move to adjourn the organizational meeting. Okay. Okay. Delano is a credit card compliance. <laughs> 
Sure. Chris, and design firms and they have great design firms that required in um, ORC I did want to amend my report, which I'll fix this, 
I did not have rotary yesterday with Martin Luther King Day. Working on my calendar, so um, that got me in there. And that's all I have to add. Thank you for it. Yeah, um, I just want to start by introducing Danny Haller, who's the new Bainbridge branch manager. So Danny joined the system on January 2nd and jumped right in and is doing a great job and it's a huge relief to me. <laughs> so welcome, Danny. We're really happy to have you. Um, I also just want to point out um, that, you know, just an interesting fact that last year, um, GCPL led all of the Net libraries in terms of circulation, and specifically our middle field branch had, was the highest circulating branch in GCN. So, anything exciting? Sorry, I should have thought 30. Yes, 36 libraries. Okay. Give or take. I will get the number up. <laughs> I will get the accurate number there. But that's, um, we started our annual winter reading program on um, January 2nd. That will run through February 28th. So I encourage everyone to sign up. You can um, participate in your branch or on Beanstack online. Um, and then we also started our tax appointments with AARP. Or we started taking our tax appointments with AARP, which is you know a, a long partnership that we have with AARP to provide appointments. And this year they're actually doing them in all of our branches. So we're really excited to include Thompson, bring GW back into the fold. And part of that is just because of the hard work and coordination with Rachel. So Rachel Hartman from Millfield. So um, lots of exciting stuff happening in the system. HR. Uh, I request the approval of the HR action as submitted in your packet. Okay, so moved. Second. Kristen? Yes. Karen? Yes. Josh? Yes. Paul? Yes. Kate? Yes.
traveling with the shark grid. We had inquiries for it. Um, right now, really only large systems have, you know, the, the, the funding to, to offer that type of resource to the patrons. Um, the Queen Public Library or Cuyahoga County Public Library. Well, not Geography County Public Library. Um, about a month after uh, Chris approved it and thought it was a good idea, I got a call from that agent and he said, you know what? I misquoted you. It's actually going to be $36,000. And I was like, well, he said it would be $27,000. So we kept him to that 90 day quote. So we got it in on time. So we were happy to get that. So you'll be seeing that on the website. We'll be adding that within the next week. So please look out for and check our new uh, additions to the research database. The third thing I wanted to just highlight is that um, the tech services staff, while they work behind the scene, they also have patrons at the front desk and ensure as the board members have come in, you always have greeted us at the front desk. Those are tech services staff. We've noticed an increase since the uh, county building went in across the street. And we're normally, you know, we're normally a breath of fresh air for them because over there they have to fill out paperwork and they have to pay bonds and fees. And when they come here, we just help them, you know, plant whatever they need. And it's usually a really good experience for patients. And then they're very pleased to see that we have a little public space so that they can come and browse and look at some DVDs or newspapers or magazines um, as they're working on uh, things across the street or perhaps they were visiting somewhere at the hospital. So we are going to continue to track the number of people that come into our little library here, and I'll be sure to report back where you'll see that in the department of the um, Fourth, but not uh, the smallest thing, is Rachel Davis, our cataloger, has been working with uh, Lynn Vanderport and Melissa Cole and Amy Leiden and Judy Lasso at Sean Branch to catalog the animal. So the Allen room is the Allen room is a genealogy room. It has all kinds of resources in there. And ever since this library joined CLECA, we've been wanting to make sure that we keep track of all of that and let people know what's in that room from outside of the library. So the recent project that was finished was the family histories. So we've added 240 family histories to the catalog. And we're going to be adding a link to the website so you can just click on it and you can see all the different geography county families that have done genealogy projects or chronicles of family stories. And you can, you can see what we have in that room. Um, some other um, items of note in the room are um, this is kind of interesting to me. Um, we have a collection, two binder collections of newspaper articles detailing. Murders and murder trials throughout Geography County's history from the 1800s. <laughs> and um, John Greaves, a former librarian at the Sheldon Middle School, spent countless hours indexing those binders by different names. So, something interesting to look at. Another interesting uh, tidbit I do like to give volunteers a shout out. Uh, Jan Egan and Nancy Lorenz stand in added an index 1,233 obituaries uh, from this past year from the Geauga County newspapers to the um, R.B. Hayes um, statements. So lots of things going on and now we're going to be able to highlight them on the website so we're excited about that and unless anyone has any questions. Sunday, March 19th, for the Lee Golf event for the foundation. We will be open for public services while we are doing mini golf, but we'd like to close at 3 o'clock so we can get everything packed up, cleaned up, and ready for tax appointments on Monday morning.
Kristen? Yes. Karen? Yes. Josh? Yes. Paul? Yes. Kate? Yes. <clears throat> Um, the first thing, board development. Oh, that's, that's okay. Um, these are the dates and locations for the roundtables, which will start in February. And just to remind everyone, the roundtables are where uh, Lisa, myself, Katie, and uh, we're going to take Nicole out. We'll go with all the branches and meet with all the staff. They have a chance to ask us questions and bring up things that they want to discuss. We present it kind of the year review. We go over some things. Um, and I wanted to share this with you in case you were free and wanted to stop in at any of the roundtables. We would love to have you there. Um, it's a great time to see all the employees from one branch together at the same time, or at least most of them. It's very hard to make that happen. Thank you. This is, this is it. That's it. This is the foundation. Okay. Um, just to, the foundation is the meeting several times a week, different groups, to work on mini golf, um, to work on getting sponsors for mini golf. Uh, they're really doing a lot of work in, in the admin center. Uh, the admin team here is really helping them a lot. And they also have another new member at their last meeting. They uh, swore or they accepted Jill Keonan, the um, director of the Mineral Library onto their board, and she was there. So they're really moving in the right direction and, and working hard to get things going. Okay. All right, so then we're down to comments from the public. Yes. Hi, I'm Kathy Kachani. I'm from the Sugar Valley Society, and we have a power garden at the Bainbridge Library since, well, 1991. We've been in existence from 1989, and um, we are just building our new garden, and I hope all of you get a chance to come out and see it. Um, we have our east garden and our west garden, and now we have our tea house in the center. And uh, you know, I just have you know, to pass these and let you see what I'm talking about here. But really, this was just put up last week. <laughs> so, but first, I'm here to give our support to Kate because. Um, with the congratulations on her presidency again, and but also to let her know that we support you, Kate. And you know, and anything that you need from us, just call us. It's, uh, it's been very helpful to us, as has Chris and Lisa and Katie, and uh, just the whole board. So, um, I'm here really just to say thank you for allowing us to partner with you to make this garden reality. Um, for accepting our layout and design, for supporting our building, both the East Garden and the West Garden and the Tea House, and the sprinkler system. And you're just so grateful. Uh, next month, you will um, hear our annual report, and we'd like to present us a little slideshow with that. And um, we're just so grateful. And I just say thank you.